<laughs> okay. <laughs> She's put together. Um, very beautiful. So beautiful. This is, this resin color is very gorgeous. This is the teal. Um, it's the same resin that my little uh, dragon, dragonling, dragonling <laughs> um, from Clover Dolls. Um, so you can kind of see, he's painted so you can't see the color as much, but uh, yeah. Um, well, she, because this is Arwen. <laughs> this is Arwen's uh, <clears throat> uh, bull, bulldog dragon. But yeah, I'm, I'm very happy now that I have her all together. She's super beautiful. Um, this was the corset that I had started to work on during quarantine and then went back to work um, and uh, stopped working on it. But uh, it's probably about 30% done. I need to move. still have most of the embellishing to do so I couch down some metallic thread there we'll do the same on the other side and then I want to do some sort of flowers and embroidery this and then it will get uh, an actual backing and lace and all of that so many 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 hours more of work to do um, but it was meant to fit her Um, so eventually when it's done, maybe we'll get a skirt made out of this lace. I um, don't know how. We'll see. I have some other lace that we might try out, but uh, yeah. Um, that was a long time ago. <laughs> that was in April that I was working on this. So now I feel inspired to come back to it and finish it now that this girl is here but she is super gorgeous um a few reflections on the resin color i probably i don't know it's between this and my mint oryx as far as my favorite resin colors uh from dolls casting service i I think if I order another fantasy colored girl, it'll probably be the mint. I really like the mint a lot. Um, but this teal is very, very gorgeous too. Um, I'm undecided. I, I kind of would like to have a Nikuru in this teal. Um, but uh, doll wise, I have uh, I've got a um, dark tan Oryx coming in. Uh, should be any time now. Uh, shipping's getting better and the menagerie that I'd ordered unfortunately has been scrapped sorry interruptions anyways um, my menagerie that I ordered last fall I think um, new foundry has basically fall fallen through entirely unfortunately so uh, it sounds like the menagerie are going to be moved to dolls casting service um, which I'm very excited about in a lot of ways because of the fantasy colors and um, I would love to have uh, a Menangenu or Mini Pieta in uh, this teal. So this was the Dolls Casting Service teal, um, which is very gorgeous too. But I would love to have uh, fantasy resin colors like the lavender, um, uh, the blue, the mint, uh, and those would be fantastic. So, um, but yeah, um, what else? I had some other things I was going to mention. Um, oh yeah, there's, uh, the pre-order for the Obsidian black resin, uh, dolls are available. And I thought I read that Reese had decided to include uh, ingenue in that. So if you're looking for a big ingenue, um, uh, so it's your chance to get an, an obsidian ingenue. You can get the other sculpts in the obsidian as well. And 
I, I kind of, I'm going back and forth about whether I'm going to order an obsidian. Um, I know the resin would be really, really gorgeous from, um, uh, from Doll's Casting Service. Uh, every doll I have from them is just amazing. Just so, so beautiful. Such beautiful dolls. Um, and so, yeah, uh, uh, definitely at this point, my favorites are the, the, the smaller girls. And if I could get a lot more of them in the fantasy resins, I would be a very happy doll collector. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to uh, um, also wanted to mention that it was my decision to have gamine shipped to me unstrung. And so I wanted to share the struggles of restringing her for comedic relief. <laughs> um, I. Uh, I, I don't want people to think that I was mad or something like that, um, but uh, I thought it was kind of funny to share the, the turmoil of trying, trying to uh, string a doll. Um, I, I'll, I'll try to remember to put a link to my actual tutorial, which is more of like how to string, restring one of these girls. Um, so it kind of goes through the steps a little better, I think, maybe. <laughs> um, but I just thought it was funny. Uh, and. Um, uh, I didn't think it was that big a deal to have to put the hook in the body. Um, these are things that, I don't know, in the ball jointed doll hobby, they're artist made, handmade creations and repairs are necessary. Things like that aren't that big a deal. Um, so I just thought it was funny to share. <laughs> okay. I think I'll, I'll leave it at that. I can't think of anything else that I was going to try to add. Um, I hope the video <laughs> was enjoyable. Uh, uh, it's what you get right now. <laughs> okay, take care guys. Bye bye. Okay, back. There is one thing I forgot that I wanted to do um, because in this order came these hands. Um, they are in the, I, I believe it's called cream. I think she calls it cream. Um, so it's the pink normal skin, or I think she calls it pink. Maybe that's what it's called. Um, but uh, I ordered these for this girl. This is my um, Pieta. She is a uh, version one Pieta from, uh, I'm trying to remember the year. I want to say 2014. Um, she was casted by Weiju, um, which is actually Island Doll. Um, they do, they have a casting service too. Uh, but the, once upon a time, Reese did use them. Uh, my Obsidian uh, Elf Ingenue is actually casted by them. Um, but uh, she has, her hands were broken uh, in shipping, which um, they were the Ingenue's nailed hands and it's still just is like this <laughs> it bothers me so much the seller gave me a hundred dollar discount on it but those hands were basically irreplaceable and so it's still just like ugh. Um, but uh, uh, I had these hands these were um, from a doll she casted order um, and they're the I think I think this is probably oriental um, I don't think it's white skin. I think it's an oriental. It's they're old. Um, they're a little bit uh, yellowed even um, but uh, oriental uh, Or whatever it was casted in it might have been white. Um, it's not a, it's not a great match um, and I'd always intended to blush, but I um, I do have a uh, resin my other gaming who is over there <laughs> um, I have three gamines now, actually, but my uh, pink normal skin gamine, uh, the resin color is very close. Um, and let's see here. It's probably hard to see, uh, but um, I am very happy to have these hands for her now. Um, I had, now I think at this point, all of my dolls have uh, the original hands, which are the ones that I like. And I forgot to bring over a hemostat. We need a hemostat, so I'll be right back. Okay, so these dolls are too big to do the thing where you grab the thread and uh, hold on to it. I can do that with a lot of smaller dolls like MSD and smaller. 
Um, but I have been injured very badly doing that with these larger dolls. Uh, I had a big chunk pulled out of my thumb, um, or it was my index finger, I think. Uh, but, so the way I do it now uh, is, this, this is loose enough that I can, I don't have to, sometimes I have to put one of these in here. Um, and this is, a, this is an old paintbrush uh, that's unusable, but it's very thick, sturdy. Um, you can use chopsticks as well, uh, but um, I have these. They're very thick and sturdy. I have two of them, and they serve me well. They're part of my doll restringing kit. Um, so I will... Her stringing is loose enough that I can do this without using my feet, I think. So... Um, but this is what I like to do is uh, clamp it with a clamp and making sure that I cross the joint so it doesn't cut into it um, or dent it. And now I've got a little loop here that is going to be a lot easier to put the hand on. <laughs> it's probably Arwen at the door. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy with that. That's very nice. That is very nice. I think, I mean, it's not a complete match, but yeah, I'm really happy with that. So I'll do the same thing with this side. Making sure that it bridges across here so it doesn't dig into it or fall down. Um, she's, she is got some old, string in here and she's relatively loose. Okay. There. Very beautiful. Yeah. I love this is my I said she's a version one. Um, she's on the original body. Um, actually quite a lot of changes were made uh, um, after 2015. Um, and I do really like the new girls. Uh, uh, the one thing I would have wish I would have done uh, is I wish I would have ordered her with the short legs. I really really like the short leg girls. They're a little more handleable. Um, uh, these dolls are so big. <laughs> They're such big dolls. Uh, but they're a joy to sew for um, because you can really get in a lot of details uh, versus the really tiny doll sewing. I think right now I'm more focused on the tiny doll sewing. Um, I'm really trying to miniaturize as my skills and techniques as much as possible and I'm really enjoying that. Um, but these guys are so nice because you you aren't as restricted as much um and they're still dolls and they're still smaller scale than us so you do have bulk issues and things but not as much with say a little tiny doll like this <laughs> it's a very different situation <laughs> um okay Alrighty. now i'll call it for good thanks for watching guys bye bye